come and catch the vibe. Welcome to Easy Weekend. It's Easy Weekend. Cats can't see me. Welcome to the sit down. And if you're too young, you shouldn't be watching this. Go to sleep. <laughs> it's the sit down. It's your guy, I'm Easy. Welcome, Miss Kaya, baby. Hello. It's been a while since we've talked, man. Yes. How have it's you been? been? Some time. Man. Yeah. Been all right. Still here. You know? I've seen you. You're moving around in the city a, a different way now. I feel uh -huh. like you've got a little animosity with you right now because I feel like, at least what it seems to me is like, you want these people to respect you, right? And, and you don't care by any means necessary, right? So tell I me about yeah. Tell me about that and how that's manifested. Not really in animosity. I've been uh, working out of town mostly this year. You know, COVID messed up a lot of things, and other states are more open to events, shows, and mm -hmm. things like that. And you know, like you said, it's been building my name up, and people been booking me. So that's where I've been at with that. So, so where out of town have you been so far? Florida a lot, definitely. Like all over Florida, mm -hmm. Jacksonville, Miami. Um, you getting a good response for the from the crowd out there? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'm like the more I travel, then you know my streams and stuff pick up in that area. Mm -hmm. So Texas, um, my streams started going crazy over there. I gotta go back to Cali because when I went, it was COVID time. So I yeah, think. that's the one place I haven't been yet. I want to go yeah. see Cali. I'm, I'm 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 interested. Yeah, yeah, I got a nice work at Cali Dream, so I had to go out there. <laughs> so tell me about this current project. Uh, P.S. is not about you. Um, P.S. is not about you is really. But, um, but you know when you say things like that, it really is about that person, right? No, but look, I'm going to tell you what I mean by that. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what I mean by that. I was going to name the project just P.S. Because the project before that was Sincerely Kaya. Uh-huh. So the P.S. was just going to be in that chapter moving next next forward, like gotcha. we were talking about. So um, the It's Not About You came from my brother. He passed away. That used to be this thing he said all the time. Like, it's not about you. It's not about you. And I didn't really used to get it. And then I read this book called The Four Agreements. Mm -hmm. And they have a chapter called Never Take Anything Personal. So right. when people say, like, it's not about you, like, say you come into work one day, another day, they might have a little attitude with you. Like, all right, the, what's your attitude for? Like, how did hear my guy? Mm -hmm. But really, it's not about you. He probably just lost his mother or something before yeah. he came in here. Like, and a lot of people on a day to day basis, they take things so personal. And at the end of the day, it's really not about you. Mm. Like, it's not about you. So my project and uh, the animosity you probably feel I have, it's not about you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you. about the DJs. It's not towards anybody. It's just me doing my thing and doing what I want to do for me. You know mm. what I'm saying? Whoever gravitates to it, then you go from there. How, what do you feel like the climate is right now with the females in hip-hop right now? Because I've said this multiple times. The females are coming a lot more harder than the guys lately. Yeah, they're coming. They're coming. You know, uh, uh, I, I think it's great. I think it's great. I see people try to throw their shade, I feel like, when with the oh, all the females rap about the same thing now. Okay. Like, I calm down, because so do all the guys. And I feel like it's because <laughs> so many females is coming, it might make certain males kind of nervous a little bit. But for what? It's enough money for all of us to eat. Okay, I read somewhere, I think it was on Instagram, Remy said that girls don't book her to be on songs with her because they're afraid of her. It's true. I've got taken her off of a song because I body somebody, and I was pissed beyond off. I wouldn't expose them, but I sat in the studio for four hours for them to complete 16 bars, barely, for them to take me off the record. That must feel crazy. And then it was like a, a point and fingers blame game. So I'm like, I don't do that. I like to see the people in, you know, in person, like, okay, so whose decision was it to... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So then, you know, moving forward, then that's, and that's where the animosity probably feel comes from. Things like that that I go through personally with those people, gotcha. not towards everybody. So is there anything personally you want to expose and, and tell us about that, that we don't know? No, no, nah, not at all. I don't. I'm not into. I speak my feelings. If you listen to my freestyles, my raps, you hear it all in in my bars. You know what yo, I'm saying? And that's not a so, lie. Your bars are serious. <laughs> I was just in here listening to somebody before, and I told Fast, I was like, "Yo, she's nasty." Yeah, it's, it's you know sometimes it's risky because of the politics side of the business. Like you hear people like that that might be willing to quote unquote work with you, and then they hear you say certain things like, "I I don't want to work with her," and she might. She might tell the world that we purposely not putting out her album because X, Y, Z. So things like mm -hmm. that is kind of risky, the lyrics that I choose to use. Mm. It's a lot of politics when it comes to that. Have you gotten in trouble with some of your lyrics sometimes? No, no, no. Um, my manager, he, you know, sometimes he'd be like, yo, why would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> but I'd be like, it's the truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to play nobody, but it's the truth. But no, nah, I haven't. I'm not signed, so 
Oh, so you do but what I you, do. they can't tell you what to do. No, nah, but I do, I know, I know when I'm being, you know, certain people's not doing certain things because I'm not signed or, you know what I'm saying, or I run with one manager and I'm not signing to them. People do petty stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But it is what it is. It's, it's a business. Well, where, where do you see yourself management-wise? Do, do you see yourself ever leaving the management crew with you, that you're with? No. I don't, and I don't have a crew. That's the thing. I have mm-hmm. one manager, and people assume that I'm signed. People assume that I have a whole team behind me. That's because assume, Footy's good at what he does, yeah, man. Yeah, like, Let's I keep just, it buck. Footy good. He's great. So, nah, I'm not going to ever. We, we a team, baby. It's more like a partnership, honestly. Mm-hmm. It's really more like a partnership, so... Talk to me about this Tubi thing you got going on, the frenemies. Yeah. How how how, how did that come about? How I, much acting are you doing? A lot. And did you take acting <laughs> classes? Like I want to know all about this. A lot. So shout out to Miss J because um, I didn't take acting classes, but when I did a series, Sisters Keeper, mm-hmm. she guided us through every episode. It wasn't like just read your lines, memorize, and go. Like we spent days at her house. We had Zoom calls going over our lines. Um, she made us like. FaceTime our partner if we have a scene and we can't be face to face like you have to FaceTime our partner and go mm-hmm. over the lines on the phone just really getting to know your cast so you when it's time to act it's like it just comes natural yeah 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 chemistry um, building that chemistry right um, a lot of films I've done over the past couple of years they're just now finally getting um, being able to be put out mm-hmm. it's a lot also with that I had no idea so <laughs> It's like getting into music, you learn so much. But with movies and shows, it's way different. Like, you got to shop it around at film festivals. You got to see who want to pick it up and put mm-hmm. it to Tubi. So shout out to Tubi for that. Shout out to Dame Dash Studios. Um, shout out to True, because he actually wrote that front of me. And uh, Luke, he actually got me into acting. I had my first Pray Before You Eat. That was the first first mm-hmm. film I did. And that was on Amazon Prime. That's on Amazon Prime, actually, as well as Tubi. How those checks? So, the, those checks are nice? They all right. <laughs> <laughs> they all right. The, I like Netflix checks better. Uh, yeah, I'm in, the, I'm in the film on Netflix also, 40-year-old version. It's a um, Rada, I think. 40-year-old is, version? Yes. Not, not the Yes, not the comedy one. It's a really? like, different version of myself. So Uh-oh. she's coming into her 40s. And she doesn't want. It, she doesn't know what she wants to do in life. Like she wants to do music, but then she wants to fall back because okay. she's forty. So yeah, that's interesting. I got my role. Yeah, I played myself in there, so that was fun. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I got a couple of films up on Tubi. Friend of Me is definitely one of them. Pray before you eat. Uh, Better than my last is coming out soon. I don't know when that's dropping, but that's another film I'm in. Uh, Sisters Keeper series, like I said, The Cabin. That's all on Amazon. If you had to choose one between acting and music, mm-hmm. um. You know, I can't say because the stresses and the politics are kind of like the same with mm-hmm. the waiting game. Like, movies are way longer. When <laughs> yeah. a 40 year version came out on Netflix, I had no idea it was coming out. I had no idea it was coming on Netflix. I had no idea about anything. So, that, that I don't know. Probably, mm. I love music too much. I'm always going to do my music, but I love acting. Okay, going back to the music. How yes. long did it take for you to put together a uh, PS? This is not about you. Um,. What's crazy is not and not long. I just everything's all about timing. Speaking of timing, that's one of my singles on there, so make mm-hmm. sure I check that out. Um a lot of the songs I replaced, honestly, with like the most recent records I did. Like I just kept working during the quarantine, so then it was time for me and Footy to uh pick out a track list. Cause I usually I do that like with my small circle of friends. Um my homegirl Charisma, shout out to her, she's a producer. Mm-hmm. She recorded and mixed my whole project. Uh usually her, Casper, my homeboy Matt. Also, he's an engineer. Um, we just sit down, and they actually helped me. My last project, it was like two songs, and I really didn't like it at all. But like the name of this project is not about me, so <laughs> I put things on there that you know other people they might like. And listen, if you see my streams, I'll be like, what the hell? Like songs from my last project still be like the top five. But that's but that's when people when they find you, yes. they go back and, and see right. about you. So that's right. the best thing when it comes to those type of streaming services. That's what go, shout out to Ghostface Killer. He hit me up. Mm. I didn't want to tell nobody. Yeah, I was mad excited. What so did he say? He said that. Like he, he he said he didn't remember how he found me. He just saw me going in and he was like, yo, females do not spit like that no more, really. I, so like, I'm trying to tell you. You was going in, and I'm like, is this DM real? And he was like, yeah. And then we spoke on the phone <laughs> and everything. He was like, yo, I went back and listened to your stuff. Like, you really be going in, and, and you're versatile. Like, you got a lot to say. So look out for that track. Listen, get them flowers while you still can, mama. I ain't I, mad at I it. I do. I be so excited. Like, sometimes I still be like, wow, I can't believe this person hit me up and that person hit me up. You're talented, and you've got that flow, and you you have, like I said, there's there's a fierceness about you. Yeah. That that I, you can't hide. 
took a, it took me a long time. Remember last time you see me? Yes. I was just like, hey, yes, yes, yes. yeah, I'm here. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> She's <laughs> trying to be cute. She's like, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> um, so so what's next? You got you're pushing the 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 uh, PS right now. Yes. And what else are we doing? You got the you got the movies and everything else like that. Yeah. What else is next for you? Um, I have I have some more videos. I'm gonna get off this project. I'll show you when we off. You know when we done with this, I'll show you an exclusive. I just shot a video like two days ago, and For the which director one? was so excited. I don't want to tell you. I want okay. everybody to wait. Okay. I don't. Okay. I want everybody to wait okay. because I tried different things with this project. As you can see, what like the sing, like the singles that I chose to go with weren't like boom, boom, bad rap. No, yeah, I'm yeah. out regular. I guess the fans that enjoy me to rap, rap, enjoy. Um, it was a mix of everything. So lo- the love story joint that was like an R and B Valentine's Day joint, and then um, I came with timing, I believe, after that, and that was kind of like the drill thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I did go savage, and then I had to take it back because timing started to grow so much that I just fell back on that for a little while, and I just put uh, go savage back out again. How do you feel so, about the drill scene? Oh, it's cool. It's it's not it's, something you want to live in, or nah. is it? <laughs> no, I will do a few records because like it's a, it's, I'm not opposed to it. Like mm-hmm. I do like the sound, but it's too much. It's kind of like you know, if you didn't grow up on reggae music, you could not listen to more than thirty minutes of reggae music. That's gotcha. how I feel about. That's how I feel about any type of music, honestly, except R and B. I love R and B. But yeah, it drills. It sounds like I'm hearing the same song for like an hour. Everybody, I mean, let me not talk. Hey, listen, see, it's things like that saying my lyrics, and then people be like, I'm a hater. Like, no, I'm not. It's my opinion, and it's not about you. See? It's my opinion. <laughs> I feel like I don't want to hear that song for hours straight, and I don't. And you have a right to. I think this in this day and age, people are offended at other people's opinions. Like, I don't right. have to like everything and everybody. Right. And everybody just needs to be honest, because I hear that a lot. Like, I hear people say, oh, boy, I'm tired of this type of music, from DJs to the listeners. So it's like, who's going to make the stand and be like, all right, enough is enough? Like, not kill it, but... But here's Switch the, it up a little bit. But and here's the tough thing, and this and working in radio, you you get this. How do you get to a happy medium? It's really hard because from the internet and the actually being outside is really difficult. Mm-hmm. It's a thin line, so yeah. I definitely get it. It's tough, man. I definitely get it. So h- how have you liked being outside now that quarantine? Well, we're about to be quarantined again. Yeah. So I can't even talk about <laughs> that. Um, I enjoyed it. I honestly never stopped really going outside. I did. I'm not going to say I was out in places, but I was enjoying, like, nature during that time. I was going to parks, different parks I've never mm. been to before, um, just getting different sceneries and really in the studio a lot. So this year, I'm not going to lie, I kind of took a break a lot from music, like, recording-wise, just getting myself... Why? Like, um, I was dealing with, like, personal family deaths, close deaths to me at that, mm-hmm. so... Condolences, um, by the way. Yeah, thank you. I lost my grandmother during quarantine. That, that's, like, mm. my... Gra- that's not just, oh, yeah, I see my grandmother once once so No, nah, I was taking grand. her to all her doctor's appointments during yeah. the quarantine, everything. She had just got her eyes right, so... And, and it came out of nowhere, so, you know, her cancer mm. is out of nowhere. It's unexpected. And my grandmother was young. It's not like, you know, when your grandmother gets 90, maybe expected. She was young, so... That took a toll on me, and then just... Life itself, like I said, during the quarantine, I just needed a mental break and think about what I'm going to do with my music and film. And I have enough content to figure it out. Mm, so you definitely got the content. Right. Mm. Like, with today's so much, I feel like you got those people to be like, just keep throwing out music, just keep throwing out music. And then you got those people that can rock with one single. Yeah. Like, you got them people that could get that one record, just keep going. Some people work their records for two years, and you have never know that. And it just... To you, it seemed like it blew up overnight, but it's like, nah, yeah, that person... I, I, that, this is also a fact. Mm-hmm. There, those records be worked years before you even hear it. Right. Mm. So, um, yeah, I'm going to switch it up at the end of the year. Like, I uh, forgot I did what you need. That was a fun record, too. I did. Like, I put out fun records this year. Mm-hmm. Um, This was, next one I'm going to drop is going back into, like, w- Was that planned to make sure the records you, you dropped were fun, or mm-hmm. was that just something that happened? No, that was planned. That was definitely planned. Uh, like I said, because the climate of music. So, and also my... Like, our fan base and stuff was growing. It was changing. So I was just going with the flow. Um, and right now, I'm just going to get back into the essence of Kai Baby and end it, you know, with the you know the rap that people like. And, you know, start over from there. I like seeing you. you, you I've seen the growth. I, I like seeing you go to where you're going now. Thank you. Don't let them God, take that fire out that. you. I can't wait to you. I play this record for you. Hmm. All right, so let's get the fuck about the thing you saw me here this record because she's fire. Kaya, thank you for coming through. I'm easy, thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure. For Likewise, real. mama. Let them know how to I appreciate sh- you. I love you. Everybody tuning in, please appreciate people like I'm easy and give them their flowers while they're here. Please, there's not a lot of people that 
are able to do this for artists. I do this for y'all. gonna get the exclusive. I do this for y'all because I feel like you know people don't. Not that they don't know. I don't think they're 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 given the opportunity to, to meet you. Like right. like Ghostface. Like you, like right. when people finally get to meet you, they I'm like, yo, like, son, wow. she's dope, and I like that feeling. It gives me goosebumps just <laughs> thinking about it. So <laughs> let me get off here so I fucking start crying. Out here. Um, Kaya, baby, thank you again. I love you. Thank you. So sit down. Come and catch the vibe. Welcome to Easy Weekend. It's Easy Weekends. Cats can't see me.